everyone, and welcome back to Phasmophobia. There was supposedly an update. I, I, according to Insum, or according to my husband's YouTube, I don't know if it was a recent thing, if it's like, like a full update, or what's going on with it. I'm trying to pull up, trying to pull it up on my phone. Let's see. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Prognostic. Man, I really wish they had done more with that. Why is it not? I can spell, right? There it is. Okay. Um, star page. Let's see. Also, Tony's barking, the old jerk. Shop overhaul. Oh, that was today. Three separate pages for more intuitive usage. Easy buy options for controller. Renameable loadouts. Player-specific colors for supplied equipment. Quick shortcuts to navigate between screens to unlock equipment. Full tutorial for each page. Shortcuts for gamepad users. Huh. Okay, well. Interesting. Okay. So there was a shop update. I don't know, let's... Might help if I turn the audio up. Gosh damn me. Options, audio. Okay. Whoa. To transfer equipment between your storage and the truck, use plus and minus buttons. Each player's equipment is represented as a different color, which you can customize in your settings. That's interesting. Some equipment is free and is already in the truck. These slots are displayed in white. Okay. Wow, that's not intuitive at all. <laughs> okay. Equipment manager. Okay. Um, loadout customization. To customize the loadout, follow these steps. Click a loadout from the list. Click the edit button on the left of the loadout name. And type a new name for the loadout. And press the check mark. Holy crap, this is this has been much. Okay. So Okay, flashlight. Why do I have three flashlights? Ghost writing book. I have I can have one? I own three. What? Why do I have so many ghostwriting books? Right, spirit box. Thermometer. UV light. Okay. Why don't I own more? I swear I own more video cams. Igniter. Why do I own so many motion sensors? I have no idea. Actually, change the boats. Why do I have so many tripods and like <laughs> hardly any cameras? I am curious though as to why. Okay. Interesting. Coming soon. Oh, are we gonna get clothing? That'll be interesting. Okay, I own two ghost writing books. 
or is that what's currently in my inventory? What the? Okay, I'm level 25. I like this a little bit better because you can actually see what levels you're going to get things at. So it looks like the next one is going to be 27 and it's the upgraded spirit box. It's still not very intuitive. Like, it used to be so easy. Um, okay, I can't really adjust anything there. So, where is... Options... Game... Oh, there it is! Is it just that I'm player one, or is it because I'm... I think it's just because I'm player one. I like pink. I like light pink. Yay! Okay. Um, gosh dang it. Okay, quick loadouts. So that's what's in the truck, yes. How... Okay. Okay, but the truck's not show. Oh, is the heck? Oh, is it just because it's like stupid light? I think it is. <laughs> I think it's because it's the super light pink. So it. Okay, we should have everything. So where do we start? What are we gonna do? Um, let's start out. Let's start out with a Willow Street. We have Edie Gacy, people who are alone, ghost event, photo, and prevent hunting with a crucifix. Okay. There's a little, little, little cursor icon now, interesting. Still with like the three seconds of sprint. Honestly, there needs. What do you? Is it the picture? It's definitely not the other side of the wall. But there needs to be like a like an energy supplement or something that can give you like extra extra sprint. That would be really nice. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that okay, and there's the bone.
Where are you? Are you here? Are you with us? How old are you? Okay, so it knocked that picture off the wall. I kind of like that it's like right front and center. That way I don't have to uh, go too terribly far. And also that way you can jump ship. Oh my gosh, I made it darn near impossible to actually read it down here. It's a good thing I'm only the, I'm the only player over here because that would be, be really bad. Okay, and at least this makes it pretty easy to set up the dots projector. Okay, I might have broken it a little. That's not terrifying at all. I don't totally hate that for me. We got orbs. Nope, not spare box, ghost orbs. Okay, well, it's something. Uh, I'm gonna take the crucifix. That wasn't creeptastic at all. Did you guys see that? I'm going farther. That's the only stuff. <laughs> Did anybody see that? It looked like something was crawling across the ground. <laughs> Ah, I turned on the TV again. That was pretty darn strange. Oh, there it is. Okay, so it is it is crawling across the ground. It's dots. Okay, we're narrowing it down. Okay, so Banshee is going to be ultraviolet, Yuri, freezing, Yokai, spirit box, she's the least. Raiju is going to be EMF5. Okay, okay, well. So we know uh, kind of sort of what we're looking for. I did start to see my breath. So that could be something, could be nothing. Heck. It's like, where's the remote? Doesn't really touch anything besides. Huh? Oh, jeez. I always hate when you can see your breath through. Oh. <gasps> oh. Where are you? audio. I honestly thought something was happening again. Ugh. No. Quit. You're freaking killing my sanity. 
Good lord! Well, this thing's eating my sanity like it's freaking popcorn. It is 66. Well, we got a ghost event. And it turned on the TV. It loves that TV. Hmm. Okay, let's grab... Okay. <laughs> well, right now it's giving, you know, error code. It really does just keep messing with the with the TV. This is like the third or fourth time it's turned it on. Oh, so where's the bone? I know the bone's in here somewhere. It's funny, JD hates it because I don't use the lights. there. See, I hate it. It's like almost freezing, but not quite. Okay, what was the reason for the cancellation for the third? Also, this lighting is terrible for this room. Ah. I was like, what what is the reason? We're all bummed. I was like, aw. Come on. This is what I hate about new Faz, because old Faz was pretty great. But now it's so freaking hard to get any evidence. Like, gosh freaking dang it. Where are you? Are you here? Are you with us? Are you friendly? I'm not going with Spirit Box. That's, uh, I'm not thinking that. I don't think any of them was ghost writing. No, it's in there. My money is either on EMF or freezing temps. It's just being a pain in the frickin' butt. Like running out of my. I have everything in there. I have all the equipment in there. It's just being a freaking pain in the butt. Mm -hmm. Ha ha! Loser. Tis a banshee! Kinda makes sense. Hello, ghost. Where are you? Show yourself. But please don't burn the crucifixes. Where are you? Give us a sign. How old are you? Hello? I think I made it mad with my sanity pills. Hello, JD! 
my apparently not co-author. How are you? I saw you posted chapter two. I'm gonna call it there before I get eaten. I'm gonna get eaten by a ghost. I'm excited for chapter two. Welcome back. Like for bed and jokes for you. Okay, so now there's a bunch of like there's a bunch of you here. Um does anybody want to hear how Rose has the absolute worst luck that like ever existed? It's a pretty funny and sad story. <laughs> I'm I'm quite unhappy about it. But yeah, I just have the worst luck possible. So when I go to the store, we only go to the store every like month and a half. So I buy a lot of milk. JD, I worked as a teacher. I saw and did like horrible things. It's fine. It's fine. I've had to clean up terrible things. So <laughs> I go to the store and when I buy milk, like I'm not kidding, I buy probably about four gallons and I'm lactose intolerant so it has to be lactose free milk which is very expensive it's like almost four dollars for a half gallon and I buy eight of them at a time so this is a lot of milk so most of the time I go to Walmart they're like out I I can only get like a couple of them so this time they actually had some it wasn't a lot but they had a decent amount so we bought eight I get home last night and I'm putting the milk away and I see one of the date, like one of the dates, and I do a double take. I'm like, wait, what? February 22nd? No, no! Like they're always out of milk. They finally have some in stock, and what? It expires tomorrow. And so I start looking at the rest of the dates. 22nd, 22nd, 20 like six of them expired today. I have drank so much milk. I have five gallons of milk in my fridge and it all goes bad today. <laughs> I'm like, no! Like, do you know how hard it is to find whole lactose-free milk? It is darn near impossible these days. I happen to find some and it all goes bad today. I think, like, one of them has an ex expiration date in, like, April. But the rest of them expired today. I'm like, I don't know what to do. I literally had, I, I used milk for breakfast, I had cereal, and then I had a 28 ounce thing because I, I ate ramen for lunch and I was like, I need protein. And I was like, ooh, I have some protein powder and it's chocolate. Because I really actually just wanted Nesquik, but I don't have any Nesquik powder anymore, which I forgot to get at the freaking store. Gosh dang, I forgot to put it on the shopping list. <laughs> now that I remember, um... So yeah, I um, I don't know what I'm going to do with all the milk. I, I actually have no idea. I'm like, I know it stays good for at least a couple days after, but I, I don't know what to do. I'm like, rice pudding, mac and cheese, like everything I could think of that can need milk. <laughs> so it's, it's not been a great time. Ow, my ankle cracked. Yeah. So I have, like, at least six half gallons of milk that I don't know what to do. Yay! Okay, where are we going next? Where are we going next? Kind of almost feeling like a Bleasdale. I hate myself a little bit right now. Oh my gosh, no! Because then the other problem that I just encountered... I drank 28 ounces of milk. Probably wasn't the best idea. And then I come home and I eat oranges. I'm just trying to kill my stomach. Like, yeah, it's bad news, bad news bears. Okay, well, what a break redeemed. I'm gonna do a please day. I can tell you horror stories from the daycare about kids getting sick. Huh. 
Discover the ghost type. Reach zero percent sanity. Oh heck no. Okay. Mm. Katiana. Huh. Uh, Katiana Mason. People who are alone. Ghost event. Incense. Firelight. Oh, we might actually be able to get all of those. Okay. No. Bang. Grab that, grab that. Alrighty then. Ah, frick. I forgot to check where the uh, breaker was. Oops. JD, when's the last time you and I played Faz? Because I know we have before. Oh. Why is it always this bathroom? Has anybody ever noticed that? I swear I've had so many hauntings in that bathroom. So, okay, what is Val's official title? Since he's married to the Earl, does that make him a count or is he like a secondary Earl? Like how, how does that work? Is it, is it like the, what is it? Cause what's his face? Uh, Hollow is a duke cause they're the dukes. I am confusion. I don't, I don't know how the titles work. Okay. So he also Earl. Okay. Okay. Well, alrighty then. That answers the question cause we're <laughs> cameos. We're about to have fun. Titles are stupid. I'm like, you know what? They're they're part of the nobility. It's fine. You know, I I was supposed to be looking for the bone, and I just kind of you know uh, forgot. It's fine. Well, you know, I didn't just bump into it anywhere. Also, magically, still didn't happen to find the breaker. That's a... That's a problem. Because I thought the breaker was only in two places. It was either downstairs in the utility room or upstairs in the attic. I'm blind? Potentially? Are you a hallway ghost? Where are you? Are you here? Are you with us? How old are you? I'm thinking we have a hallway ghost. Yeah, no, titles are, titles are ridiculous. Also, it's ridiculous when I have too many ideas to jam pack into one story. I'm like, ah, I came up with too many scenes with, between the two of them. I'm like, ah. Willa and Andreas are already hilarious and I love them. And this is going to be really fun. Be like, oh, you want to hate each other? Ha 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 ha. Good luck with that. I have also decided how I want, um, how I want to introduce, um, what's his, what's his face? Roland. How I want them to meet. Diz nerd, I looked over <laughs> right as it happened. Ha ha! 
My keen observation skills have bested you. Okay, where is... No freaking way! It's behind the stairs! Okay, okay, well, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's behind the stairs. Oh, well! Good to know. <laughs> there was a third option. Some hallway ghost. Or it could be in the utility in the like laundry room. Ooh, that was a that was a nice little spike. Where was that? Do it again! Do it again! I missed it! Come on. Come on. Just do it again. Is it mad because I'm not in the house? Nope. Okay, so... It is in... It's at least partially in the hallway. I was like, where is my dots projector? I only have one. That'd be creepy if I just saw somebody standing in there. I was just saying earlier, I was like, JD gets so mad that I don't use any of the lights. Who needs lights? Ooh. Ooh, something's not happy. Okay, well, it passes through. Oh, crap. Gosh dang it, I swear something just happened like right under here. Very nice, very nice. Did the Bombina scream her head off? Sorry, I need to check something real quick. I need to check there's a vehicle in my. Pup's had a friend over and I can't tell if he's still there. Ooh! Ooh, ghost orb! I see that. Okay, so we do have an orb. Since we still don't know what it is, I'm going to take another one of those. Okay, let's take a secondary camera. Go set that up. And then you know what? We're going to take a UV light. Yeah! Oh, you mother trucker. Turn the light on again. I am going to work tomorrow and it's I'm technically working overtime and I'm going to be the only
only person. The game is like so dim. Oh yeah, nice, nice little, uh, nice little spike. Literally just like walked right into it. <laughs> you know what? I can't right now because I still need to see if it's dots. in there. But so far all we have is that. All we have are the orbs. What is that? It's like something like glitchy over there. I don't know. I like I don't know what to make of this ghost. I could like Ah, I still have that. Gosh dang it. I should have dropped it. Okay, well that light's still off. I don't need the light. try. <gasps> Son of a gun, I saw that. Oh, you can't see I didn't see that. Did anybody else see that? Am I crazy? <laughs> camera okay so it's it's there why is the light staying on like forever I thought the light was supposed to like turn off Well, remember how I said I saw that thing like right under here? I kind of wonder if that was it. Okay, it keeps going in front of the motion detector like right there. Oh! There it is. It's a child. Oh, great. We're back to the same options. Yay! Of course I'm being haunted by a child. I wonder what this button does. <sighs> yep, I saw us. <gasps> Mother trucker. Yeah. 
kind of on the lookout for fingerprints, because that's how the Banshee reacted last time. I, I don't like it. Okay, now every time I do even, like, a small British accent, I just, like, I keep remembering D&D. &D. I'm just like, oh, But I love it. I want to know about the story. Also, is just still absolutely freaking terrified of dying. And, like, that was creepy. So I went on to D and D Beyond to kind of like look into doing um, like plotting a campaign and stuff like that, and like encounters. It looks complicated. All all of us apparently, except Pockery, we're just like we will totally play. We're so excited to play. And like, I get it. I get not being able to like make it to an extra one, but like, savage. We're gonna just like move that a little bit. You know, I would have loved a little, uh, like, animation of, like, the character, like, shaking their hand after burning themselves on the match. That would have been a nice touch. Hello, ghost. Where are you? Are you here? Give us a sign. Can you blow out this candle? Where are you? Hello? Was that me or was that you? Where are you? Are you here? Are you with us? Apparently it was the ghost. I was gonna say! I was like, no! Especially because we can't move it to the next week because I'll be gone. I'll be in Phoenix. Meeting Neil Newborn. So, okay. Okay. It's actually like a mini reunion because they have like four of the voice actors from Baldur's Gate showing up. And I am heckin' excited. I'm not gonna lie. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm just like I don't know because honestly I've only seen a couple of things with him in it and really it's like uh, Detroit Become Human or if you want to say it like Jacksepticeye Detroit Become Human uh, yeah Detroit Become Human and Baldur's Gate but like he put so much of himself into his voice acting and it's just amazing to see like, he, he made the character. They're all talking about, like, oh, you know, live action, live action. I'm like, no! Like, Neil Newborn is a star, and you can't do that. Okay, I can... I can, uh, actually, um, the, the thing that Disney and I were invited to got moved. So, where's, look at this. 
we're just gonna drop that crucifix right there. Where are you? <gasps> oh sh! I don't think that caught it, but uh, it just it just ran at me. Still not freezing. Where the heck is the EMF? Oh jeez. Oh, I dropped the light on top of it. Still just a three. Give us a sign. Where are you? <sighs> okay, you threw something. Okay, this ghost is not giving it up. It's gotta be something. Trucker. Nothing, really. Okay, I straight up don't like that. <laughs> oh, no, it broke the breaker. I did not like that. <laughs> that was creeptastic. Oh, jeez. Ooh. I love the story, and he's amazing. Such a complex character. Honestly, his character development is just fantastic. Larian did an amazing job. Give us a sign. Do something. I'm about to like rule out fingerprints. Gosh dang it, you pain in the freaking butt. Okay, it keeps tripping the breaker. Ha! Huh, finally! 
kill me. Oh. Finally! <laughs> EMF5, it's a Raiju. Good night, nurse. Nice. I wish. I, I really wish that I was, like, decent at art. Yeah, no, audio. I don't want to play with a child, especially not this one. That is freaking crazy. Like, look look at all of it. It threw things. It moved things. The ghost touched this. It moved this. It threw this at me. I'm really upset that it didn't get dots, because I think I caught it, like, just a couple seconds too late. Oh, hey. Freaking ride you. Done. Done with that. So, my left thumbnail is like orange because of the the cuties that I was peeling is is really orange <laughs> that's the one thing I hate about peeling oranges is that your fingers just get like stained not quite enough for the uh, the next level I think nope Oh my gosh, I failed by like, what is that? 11? <laughs> no, that's more than that. I can't math right now. 21? 21. I'm tired. It's been a long day. Okay, how long have I been going? 53 minutes. You know what? After that, that's a pain in the freaking butt. JD, we need to talk more. I miss you. I feel like we haven't actually had, like, a conversation in a really long time. Like, an honest to goodness conversation. There's, like, a little here, a little there. But, you know, we, we need to actually, like, have a good, good chat. We do. We really do. But that is going to be it for this episode. So thank you everyone so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will be back tomorrow with another episode of my Discord member's choice. But until then, I hope everyone has a fantastic rest of their evening. And I hope to see you guys then. Bye!